It's the question everyone's asking with every passing day. What's taking so long to tear down the hard rock? Danny Monteverdi is here with a few answers to this very complicated questions. A lot of questions and I feel like we're getting very little answers here. Right. Well, it's a lot of questions and there are a lot of people involved with this and that is part of the problem. We spent a lot of yesterday and today trying to get answers to those questions about delays, real or, perce or perceived. Frustration about the Hard Rock Hotel reached new levels this week when a tarp that covered the remains of a dead worker blew aside and exposed part of his body. But the frustration has simmered almost since day one. One of the biggest questions, what's taking so long to take down the Hard Rock? It's not an easy answer to find, but we can start with one old saying, follow the money. It could be close to $25 million to demolish and clean up the site. The price tag for the cranes alone was $5 million. Why were they able to come down so fast? That happened because of this. It's an emergency declaration from the state that reads in part, two large cranes continue to threaten to fall onto surrounding buildings, posing an extreme danger to both life and property. This document sped up that demolition process. There aren't imminent threats now, but the desire to get the buildings down remains. That's where insurance payments kick in. We're told the project's developer has the insurance to cover the work, but we're also told some delays can be chalked up to insurance companies wanting to do their own investigations before they pay out. There's also the question of who's in charge. The developer still owns the building, but the city has control of it right now. And while the developer will have to pay for the demolition, this city has to give the okay before that can happen. Eyewitness News legal analyst Chick Foray says if the city does anything on its own, you, the taxpayer, will likely foot the bill. The owner is probably sitting back and hoping that the city will take over the project, take over the responsibility from here. And then the owner will say, OK, city of New Orleans, you made the decision. Now, just a few minutes ago, 1031 Canal Development sent us this statement. The developer and city of New Orleans have worked together to find the safest plan possible for demolition. There is an injunction in place whereby any demolition plans must be approved by the court. We have consulted with the leading experts in demolition to ensure that the best and safest plan is enacted. And right now the implosion is set for mid-March, but the city will still have to sign off on any plan before that happens.